Hey guys, today's restaurant is in Waipahu. It used to be Far East Chinese uh, restaurant and now it is um, Far East sushi bar and seafood with Chinese food, but they kind of uh, simplify their Chinese menu. It's mostly sushi and uh, like crab boil, like, you know, the Cajun stuff and stuff like that. So we're gonna try some of uh, their sushi and maybe try some crab. Um, for the crab oils, they've got Cajun, garlic butter, Old Bay butter, and plain with just salt. And they've got spicy and mild and very spicy. They also have um, a couple of Chinese dishes, you know, your typical seafood, stir fries, chop suey, chow mein, and crispy noodles, and you know, roast duck and stuff. Uh, they have different types of sushi rolls and um, sushi boats. So um, we're going to look over the menu and see what we're going to get. So they do have lunch combos and it's much cheaper than dinner. There's combo C, D and E. Some have shrimp, some have snow crab legs and crawfish. They all come with corn and potatoes. We might do that. That's much cheaper. And they also have sushi bar lunch specials, which are also cheaper. So a pretty good um, lunch option. They also have different lunch plates for Chinese food. So upon entering, we came right at opening. It opens at 10 and um, it's really, really pretty. I haven't been in here before when it was a Chinese restaurant, but it's got, you know, the beautiful Japanese umbrellas on the ceiling and beautiful decor on the walls. And you see the sushi bar right there and he's making it fresh for you. And uh, the service is great so far. I got some hot green tea comes in this really cute cup and they have uh, canned soda for drinks, for soft drinks. Okay, our food came out and it looks wonderful. Our crab and corn and shrimp and potatoes. And um, we got our sushi. We got um, the lunch special. So it's kind of a surprise. You get what the chef gives you with a big California roll. And we also got some spicy ahi. So um, looks really good, we're gonna dig in. They do give you gloves and crackers and stuff and a bucket to put your trash in for your crab if you decide to get that, so that's awesome. So let's dig in with the crab. This is like the big crab piece. It's a snow crab cluster. You can get a different option with crawfish or um, just shrimp if you don't like crab. Yum. Good garlic flavor. So good. And you can get spicy or Old Bay seasoning if you want. But we just got garlic butter. So it seems like I have eight shrimp. They're pretty big. They're juicy and dripping with butter. They look fresh. You have to peel them though. So let's give it a peel and dip it in the sauce. Mm. Very fresh and I like their garlic butter sauce. It's super yummy. Lots of garlic, lots of butter. And then you get a potato. I think you get one that they cut in half. It's a red potato. It's good. It soaks up all the uh, butter. A little bit underdone though, a little bit raw. These are pretty meaty claws. Or uh, legs anyway, look at that. So this is the shrimp piece after peeling it. It's pretty plump and fresh. And they're pretty big pieces. So quite a deal for lunch. So you get a piece of corn, looks like frozen corn cobs. Actually, I take that back. 
You can tell it's fresh. It's got a nice crisp crunch to it. it doesn't have that frozen mushiness to it. It's very sweet. Wow, very good. I'm not sure if you can see all that spice on there from the garlic. So good. And at the end, you get this big cluster of meat from the snow crab. Pretty delicious and sweet meats. So far, so good. I am really liking this lunch special crab boil thing. I think it's definitely a deal and a perfect portion for me anyway. I think, you know, the dinner one is a bit bigger to uh, fill you up more, but this is perfect for lunch. Okay, that crab was delicious with the shrimp, and I think they were generous with the shrimp. And you have all the other delicious sides, like the potato and the delicious fresh corn that was very sweet. I'm going to assume it was local corn, since it's the season, kind of. And now we're going to try this delicious lunch special sushi. So you get one, two, three, four, five pieces of sushi chosen by the chef. So it's a surprise, kind of like an omakase in a way. And I'm going to try the salmon. Really good, really fresh. I'm not an expert on sushi rice, but to me it tastes very good. And it's perfect consistency. The rice is cooked well, and it's a pretty good slice of salmon. And it seems like today's special is, um, I'm not sure, it's like two pieces of white fish. Um, I don't know if it's hamachi or something, and then a shrimp and two pieces of salmon. So no ahi for today. And with the five pieces of surprise sushi, you get a very big California roll. I think we ate like three, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It seems like 10 pieces of this California sushi roll, which has imitation crab, cucumbers, avocado, and the nori is inside. So let's taste this. Same thing, great crunch from the cucumber. You got that creamy avocado in there, and the crab and the sauce in there makes it taste good. Really good lunch. All right, if anybody can tell me what this is, I'm gonna show a picture, a close-up of the two white fishes. Oh no, is it hamachi? I'm gonna dip it in here. Pretty generous cuts of fish, and the rice isn't too much, it's perfect. Fabulous. Everything tastes fresh. Super delicious. And this is the second white fish. Has a little bit of graininess to the top. <coughs> that one had a slight crunch to it. I don't know how to describe it, but a little bit firmer, which is nice. A different texture than rather than just a softer fish. And then there's the ebi, the delicious uh, shrimp. Good as any other ebi shrimp. Very good sushi. And the last salmon, and I'm glad they gave two. Too bad there's no ahi, but I do love salmon sushi. And then we got a side of some spicy ahi roll. Um, you can get, you know, if you like a particular fish or roll, you can get that. So this is what it looks like. Pretty good spicy ahi. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you go to a place and it's not the same flavor, like the mixture with the mayo or the right, you know, ratio of mayo to sriracha or hot sauce. Or sometimes they don't use sriracha, they use a different, cheaper hot sauce, but it tastes good. I would say my favorite is probably from Tamora's for spicy ahi poke. And it's kind of similar to that, or like Foodland, you know, really good. And they're pretty generous with the uh, ahi in the middle. Let me turn it over. So you got a lot of ahi meat in there. And it's not too spicy. It's just the perfect amount of sriracha. Really, really good. And not too much rice. It's a perfect bite. You can pop it in your mouth. Just enough rice, but actually more spicy ahi in there. 
All right, just in time, they turn on some music, so it was pretty quiet when we first got here since we we're the first ones here, but there's a lot of people doing takeout, and a couple of people came in to eat. So um, I believe this place would probably be packed on a weekend at night for dinner, but it's pretty spacious, it's got a lot of tables. Not too sure about uh, their Chinese food, if it's the same as the original, and if you don't know, uh, a couple of months ago, I think in May, Far East Chinese cuisine uh, went uh, into retirement, the owners, so it closed down, and I guess these people just uh, bought this place and turned it into a seafood restaurant, but everything so far has been delicious, and I am happy, and the crab and its buttery glory was amazing. If you're wondering, it's in the Waipahu Shopping Center on the side where there is a Aloha gas station. You could probably take the rail hill up here, uh, get off at the station at John KOT and walk a block up, and it's right here. And there's lots of parking. If there's no parking in front, um, there is uh, parking on the other side, on the bigger side by Pacific Supermarket. Um, I believe it's all one plaza, so definitely come check out Far East Sushi Bar and Seafood. Everything we had today was amazing and I definitely come back here again. Seriously, like it's super good food and especially for lunch, you can't beat the prices if you're craving this kind of food. And so if you like this video, press the like button, uh, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you again on another food adventure. Peace out.